been waiting a long time for someone like you to record this moment. to this investigation. It was uh, started by uh, uh, Dick Holden. It's called the Imminent Investigation, uh, the Independent Mars Investigation Team. And we basically verified everything that uh, Vince DiPietro and Greg Molinar had done, and we pushed on beyond it. And in the process, I was standing in the library at Sandia Labs, and I was looking, I was getting ready to copy. In those days, everything had to be Xerox. So I was standing in line to use the Xerox machine, and a guy was standing next to me, and we were just chatting. And I mentioned that the Mars atmosphere had very unusual isotopes of xenon and he said what he said <laughs> i showed him in the scientific journal that i was copying and he stared at it for a long time and he'd been actually you know he looked like at the end of the day he was a very happy individual and suddenly his smile vanished and he handed it back to me and said looked at me straight in the eye and said somebody nuked them <laughs> somehow he had looked at that data and seen weapon signature and then he suddenly kind of clammed up, and he said, excuse me, and he left the line for the Xerox machine and walked out of the library. And I recognize that, you know, every once in a while, if you 
if you said something inadvertently classified at Sandia Labs in an unclassified area like the library, then you basically just excuse yourself and walk away. And that's what he did. And I did not understand at the time why he could interpret the data from Mars that way. Mm -hmm. But it basically took me a long, long time and a lot of research, all open literature, of course, to find out what it was that caused him to have that reaction. And finally, basically, Mars shows evidence of having an enormous amount of uranium and thorium fission. And this is trace, these are trace isotopes in the atmosphere. You do the forensics on the Martian atmosphere, and it says, oh, some big nuclear event happened here. So at first, um, I thought perhaps it was a natural nuclear reactor. On Earth, we actually had natural nuclear reactors. Right in the uranium deposits, and they, uh, they ran like an ordinary nuclear reactor. They would use water to slow down the neutrons, and then, um, then they would become reactive, and uh, then they would overheat, drive all the water out, the reactor would shut down. And this went on for millions of years down in Africa, and they found 20 spots where this happened in these big uranium deposits. Hmm. So that was my first thought, and I actually almost believed it, but as I presented, and I, present, I went to scientific conferences and presented this hypothesis, and it was well-received. And then... But as I got feedback from people, um, they said, oh, the xenon isn't right. And um, then I, I did some more research, and I found out, no, the pattern of xenon isotopes is like a fingerprint in the Martian atmosphere is weapon signature. It means it was a fast neutron event. A normal nuclear reactor runs with slow neutrons because they're more reactive. But when you have pure uranium or plutonium, you have fast neutrons, and that's what makes the explosion. And it leaves a telltale uh, pattern. It leaves a fingerprint, basically, right. uh, and um, of of what kind of reaction occurred. And Mars bears Mars atmosphere bears the um, results of a massive fast neutron event, which has to have been a weapon. There is no natural process that can create this. The only process known that creates this pattern is a um, a fission boosted hydrogen bomb. Wow. Uh, by the way, uh, hydrogen bombs. Um, they're triggered by an atomic bomb. A small atomic bomb triggers them, sort of like the blasting cap, to set off the hydrogen reaction. The hydrogen reaction sets off, uh, releases very fast neutrons. What they do then is they put a casing of ordinary uranium, just uranium ore, uh, around the hydrogen bomb, and the fast neutrons then split all the uranium atoms in the ordinary uranium. The, the neutrons are so powerful, they split ordinary uranium atoms, and uh, uranium-238. So you get an enormous boost to the hydrogen bomb reaction and an enormous load of fallout, radioactive fallout, like radioactive iodine and strontium-90 and things that get taken up into the human body and cause cancer and death. Mm -hmm. And so, and by the way, this all used to be classified, but it's no longer classified. So you can read it on Wikipedia. So um, basically, if you look at the radiation hotspots on Mars um, that were observed from space with gamma ray spectrometers, in both potassium and thorium, it looks like two massive hydrogen bombs, one both about the size of the Empire State Building, were dropped on Mars from space. They left no craters. The reason they left no craters is they were airbursts. Both Hiroshima and Nagasaki were airbursts, and they didn't do it for humanitarian reasons. They wanted the blast to go off in the air because it creates more powerful air shock waves. Hmm. In other words, the, if, you, if you make a big crater, the energy is going into the ground. They didn't want that. They gotcha. wanted to blow apart the city. And so whoever did this on Mars wanted the same thing. So we have two radioactive hotspots. We've now found that they're covered with glass called trinitite. It, it, the, pattern, the spectral pattern matches trinitite, which is the atomic melt glass made in desert areas when they set off an atomic bomb in midair. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're slightly radioactive still after uh, millions of years. And um, they left no crater, meaning they went off in midair. Right. And if you look, then if you can read a map, you look just downwind where the shock wave and the uh, fallout, load of fallout would have been most intense. There is Cydonia Menza, where mm. the there's in the Cydonian, the the, the uh, Dipetral Molinar Pyramid are found right next to each other. And the other explosion site, if you go downwind of that, it's a place called Galaxus Chaos, which is not as well known, but it is also called Utopia. And it's where they two uh, car faces are found, along with the ruins of the city. So two centers of civilization on Mars were directly are directly correlated in location to these two explosions. 